welcome back. You're still with us right here on the hashtag Why in the Morning at uh, Brian Sakona One at Y244 Channel. This is the second conversation of the day, and I'm being joined by a retired military officer that is uh, Peter Sami Mwithi. He's right here to actually also give his insights on the situation we are currently experiencing this renaissance, this revolution of young people that are in quest for justice and they want their leaders accountable and they want their voices to be heard. Karibu sana, uh, Meja. Do you uh, do, do still people call you major? They call me major uh -huh. because it's a, it's a rank that uh, I really worked for, yes. and I left uh, the military without any bad thing, so I retain. Yeah. It's my right, constitutional right, to retain that rank. Yes, and but a major retired. Yes, and well, they'll be honoring, you know, yeah, the yeah. retired majors. Yeah, you yeah. definitely will feature. Yeah. Or you've been already honored. We have already been honored with so many. <laughs> yes. What do you call them? Yes. Yeah, we are honored by the government for what we did. All right, pleasure to have you. So maybe let, let, let me get started uh, uh, with uh, what has been happening in the country for the better part of last week. Yeah. Uh, it seems like temperatures are intensifying and the young people of this country are not relenting. From the conversation I've just had with the uh, guests who've left here, they're saying they want their voices heard. And they don't want, in fact, they don't want a conversation. They want them included when it comes to the conversation that the president wants to have. So from your observation and your wisdom, where do you think we should begin and what should the president do so that the voices of these young people are included? Thank you so much for having me here in our proud broadcast institution. It's a national institution. Thank you for very much for giving me this opportunity. And also I thank God for us being alive at this moment. And let me say this, I'm very sad and uh, pass my own condolence for the th two young men who lost their life because of this uh, movement. Let yeah. me say we are very sorry for that. Yes. And let me say this. This is a very sad moment for this country. Yeah. As much as people are talking out there, thinking that is a, is a cheap politics derived from the young generation, who are our granddaughters and grandchildren and our sons, it is a moment to rethink of what to do in this country. And uh, I'm calling upon those who are in the political leadership to give them a chance. A chance of what? A chance of dialogue. To talk to them, listen to them, hear them. The, 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 the Gen Z generation they want to be heard. Yeah. And you know what? They have seen how the politics of this country has been driven and they are not comfortable. Yes. All what they want is a very favorable environment for them to shine. It's not even a jobs they want. They yes. can make jobs from them. Now, the question of uh, budget for 2024, that is not the main reason. They yeah. have seen what we fathers have gone through. And let me say this from the onset. As elders and the political leaders, we are ashamed. We have let them down, including yes. me as a leader. How, we have, how have we you have let, let the, them the young down? People down. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to be a role model mm -hmm. in whatever we do in the sphere of our social dynamics. Right. We are supposed to be a role model. Mm -hmm. When they see me as an MP, driving big cars, mismanaging our resources, what they think. Yeah. That is why the anger now has risen up. I yes. remember uh, the former president, head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, yes. did say, if you can remember, mm -hmm. that when our youth are not employed, yeah. they are, we are creating a time bomb for them. And yes. this is the time bomb we are seeing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether they can, we can remember Yes. What he used to say. Uh, I remember that. Uh, uh, when you look at, at the anger and the outrage, uh, this time around things have been organized differently. You know, we, we are used to demonstrations being led by a certain political leader. They are affiliated with a certain party. There's even been claims that, you know, uh, in, in the previous demonstrations, they were funded and sponsored. But these ones are literally happening online. And the way young people are turning up, it's just amazing. Do you feel like they are the game changer? when it comes to ensuring that this regime is in check? Definitely, they are. And why the other millennium 
uh, did side with the politicians to be given handouts to come and cause mayhem during the demonstration, it is because of our political leaders. It is because of us, the elders. It is because of the church leaders who did not bring. I, I'm very surprised today to see the church saying that the government should give the young generation a chance. A chance yeah. of what? The, 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 the church leaders themselves should yeah. have a say in trying to model the, the, the young, the, the, the Gen Cs on mm. what to do. But what have you seen in the churches during the past times? Corruption yeah. in the churches. Allowing yes. the politicians to come in the, in the, the podium of the church, which is very sacred, to talk and abuse other politicians. Yes. This is the hunger, and mm. these are the results we are seeing right now. Do you feel like the church was in bed with the current regime? Definitely. The church, I told you from the onset, the churches, we elder generations, we have, and the political leaders of our government, we have failed the G generation Z. We have mm. just failed them totally. Yes. You know, in African culture and traditions, a father is not supposed to show weaknesses that have failed. The mother, the African mother, is not supposed to tell the child that there's no food today. Yeah. But we have to bite that. We have yeah. to say we have failed and we have failed. Yeah. The only solution now is to trace back where mm. did we, where did the, the rain start, start beating, beating us. us. Mm -hmm. And then the only way, let me tell you, yes. is to dialogue with these fellows. I yeah. can tell you the two things that we are lacked in this country. Uh -huh. Because I was born in a pre-colonial time, 1950s. Yes. yes. I came along, I saw, okay, I was enlisted in the military mm. two years before the inauguration of uh, President Moy. Right. So I saw his regime, how yeah. it went by. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then four years before that, I taught uh -huh. people in the primary schools. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then I joined the army. In the mm. army, we are not supposed to do politics. Yes. We are not supposed to do politics. Mm -hmm. And let me give you an advice. I'm mm. here not as a military spokesperson. Yes. I'm here as a veterinary yes. soldier right. who has seen it all. Yes. I have seen the, I told you, I've seen the, 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 the coup of 1982. Right. What impact, political and social impact that it gave to our country. Yes. I am one of those officers who captured Kismayu. Mm. You understand? Yes. I have seen the agony of our military forces working hard mm. to keep peace. To, 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 to keep peace so that our enemies cannot intrude here, so yes. that our political figures yes. can continue giving us good administration. Yeah, on that note, And yes. one thing, lastly, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. before I lose my thought of line. Oh, please. Yeah, go please. Ahead. Uh -huh. Everybody in this country, yes. let us not drag the military into politics. All right. We know our duties mm -hmm. is to defend our boundaries mm -hmm. and not political. Our political... Uh, our political system in this country is a political. Yes. It is not politics. Yes. So we give politicians yeah. to the politics. Yeah. Let us not drive the military, the military into, into these yeah. affairs. What we saw very and dangerous. witnessed uh, last week on Tuesday, we saw young people being yanked into crowds and being taken to the cars, uh, the police trucks, and there's been like around five abductions. Even this morning, there's one. Uh, one of the youth leaders who was abducted, and they're saying police officers are being used as state machineries to frustrate Gen Zs in their quest for justice. Do you feel like the military has been compromised? I'm saying this, and I'm repeating it. Let us not drag the military into this. It is very dangerous. You have seen what has happened in the Western country, how the military reacted. Please, we have three services in the, in the, in the military. We have the Kenya Army. Kenya Army deters any aggression, any enemy which comes by land. The Air Force, we know it very well. It deters any enemy which comes to our territorial space. The Navy water masses, wherever we are. That is our work. Our work is not politics. Yeah. We are a political. But we are witnessing the incidents right now. No, no, no. Military will never, ever, never, ever enter into politics. So who never. are those being used right now? Those are poli our political, those are our police officers, um, okay. I guess. They are police officers. And uh, one thing is, we are calling the police officers to restrain from killing, from injuring, from doing anything to anybody who expresses democratic right in this country. Yes. That is my call. Mm. And that is what we should go. Yeah. If anybody has done anything, 
which contravenes our constitution, let mm. him face the law. We right. have our DPP, we have everything, we have our courts, I hope they are functioning. Yeah. Let us follow that route. But mm. injuring somebody, killing, doing everything. The abductions is bad. and the tortures, because uh, most, of, most of the sentiments are orders from above, you know, orders from above. So if it's an order from above, should you obey it, deny it, either obey it and leave, or obey it and be there? I cannot go to that route mm -hmm. because I don't have the evidence of the orders from above. Mm -hmm. But what I know, all, all security agencies are trained to make conclusions on the ground mm -hmm. pertaining to the situations. You understand? Mm -hmm. If, for example, this gentleman is not armed, we have been trained how to disarm him if he's armed, how to put the uh, warning shot up there before you shoot. So mm -hmm. let, us, let us condemn any, any of those officers who killed those two gentlemen. And mm -hmm. all those officers who are police officers who, who, who injured anybody who was uh, expressing his uh, freedom. Yeah. yeah. From the body language of the president and uh, the majority leader, Kimani Chungwa, the other week they said something different. And then yesterday they now are admitting their heard the young people's voice, they want to have a conversation. But from the guests who've just been here, they're not buying it. They're saying we're not going to listen to that. If you had contrary opinions about us last week, why are you changing your mind and your tone right now? And the hashtag is reject, not amend. So they're saying they don't want anything to do with the bill. They don't want to hear it. They want it deleted, not amended. Is it going to be possible from your observation? No, this is my personal view. My personal view is that we have a president, and uh, we must respect the presidency. In all forms of what the president says, we must respect that. Of course, it's within the law for us to, to, to demonstrate, to pick it, to do all that, but we must respect the presidency. Understand? Even when he's oppressing people? When he's oppressing, let's hope what he said. You know, I'm not in his heart, and nobody's in his heart. He said he's going to give a chance with a dialogue. Yeah. You understand? But the people do not want the dialogue. No. Let me tell you one thing. Eh? We have one word here, which is a problem to this country. You know what, what that word is? Patriotism. Let me give you a brief history of where we are coming from and where the Gen, Gen, Gen Zs are. We were colonized by the British. Yes. Then during that time, we had people who were patriotic enough to die, and we call them a Mau. Yes. To die so that they can fight this colonialist yeah. government, mm -hmm. which, is, which was very repressive. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. They did it. They did it under the banner of unity, yeah. as the Gen Zs are doing. Yeah. They were not tribal. You Absolutely. could see from Nyanza, from Meru, from Kikuyu, they joined and against his enemy, who was the British masters. You understand? Yes. They did that. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, we had a re Kenyatta regime. Kenyatta regime came, it was dented by a bit of corruption, the thirst for land. Mm -hmm. And that is why uh, Jaramogi Odinga parted ways ideologically mm -hmm. with the Kenyatta, and things happened the way they happened. Mm -hmm. Then we came with the regime of Moi. You understand? Mm -hmm. It was so oppressive. Remember, it was only one party system, Kanu, Baba da Mama. You could not do anything. People suffered. Let us not mention those who suffered. Then it came the regime of Kibaki. Things changed a bit better. When we amalgamated the 2010 constitution, it had so many rights. But yeah. why I'm saying this is because people are not patriotic enough to follow our constitution. If yeah. we are patriotic enough, you could not hear anything of the grievance of the young people that they are saying today. Yeah. If you are patriotic enough, you cannot steal for the coffers of the one inch. But those are the leaders we've elected who That's are in office who are stealing. That's it's not I'm the one inch who is stealing. We lost the match. Right. The match mm -hmm. to the fr real freedom yes. when we lost the spirit of patriotism. Yeah, so le le let's eject them out of office then. The way to reject them out of the office uh -huh. is through what these young men are doing. Yes. But as, as much as our children are doing this, let mm -hmm. us also remind them we mm -hmm. have the constitution again. Yes. And I'm very happy. Right. Unlike the other, the other demonstration, right. this demonstration is so peaceful. Yes. So peaceful. 
And yeah. I don't understand why few of the police officers cannot understand right. that this is a very peaceful, organized, Protest. by well-educated yeah. protestant. Yes. Why are they doing what they're doing? Why haven't they read Article 37 of the Kenyan Constitution? Then we should ask the IG. Mm. We should ask the IG. Because if I was the IG, let me tell you one thing. Let mm. me give you a scenario. If I was the IG, mm -hmm. surely, even himself coming out talking to these children, yes. should have cooled down. Right. What is wrong? I have seen in the newspapers that uh, the Gen Zs want to occupy parliament. Right. That they is the hashtag. That is the hashtag. The uh -huh. Let me tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not in their minds, but right. I can visualize that as an elderly person with a mm -hmm. lot of experience of politics in this world. Mm. They don't want to occupy. Uh, parliament to them is a sacred, a unit symbol for this country. Yes. They don't want to go there as uh, senators, as yeah. women rep. They don't yeah. want that. They know there is a, there is a way to yes. go there. Yes. They are well informed, let me tell you. Some Absolutely. of them are lawyers. Absolutely. First years in the university, second years. Yes. They know what mm -hmm. they're doing. Mm -hmm. But what they want is to be heard. Their voice. And be incorporated mm -hmm. in all forms. Of course, in the 20, 2010 constitution, we yeah. have what we call PP. Right. People's participation. participation. We yeah. have not and that is under Article 10. Yes. Uh -huh. We have not... We have not involved them in that. Yeah. And they have said, they say, okay, we are suffering here, but our political leaders, our fathers, our mm. church leaders are not inviting us in these things. Yes. We are suffering. All, mm. the, all what they want is to be hurt. Yes. If this IG would have come, you know, yes. uh, President Moy, uh, President uh, Ruto did say in uh, yesterday's in the church yes. that he, 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 plowed, he applauded them for their brave, bravery for mm. coming out and doing. Because in other regimes, you could not do what these children are done because yeah. of the fear, which yes. was instilled in us yes. by the previous regime. Regimes, yeah. But they came out. Yeah. So even IG himself, you know, mm. he's numb now. Yes, I'm absolutely. not blaming him. He has, you, he has, a, he mm. has a security uh, strategies, you never know, but yeah. he should have come. Mm. You remember, there is one day, there mm. was, I think, a demonstration here, yeah. and there's one inspector Things were very rough in this town. He yes. came out. Yeah. He never cared to be stalled. He mm. talked to the people and he quelled the, the emotions of those people. Mm -hmm. If he would have come in front, talk to these people and tell them this is your parliament. Yeah. Tomorrow you are coming in this parliament. So yeah. let us not destroy anything. Of course they were peaceful. All mm. what they wanted is somebody like Ichungwa to come out and talk to them so yes. that they can feel they mm -hmm. are hard. Yes, Can but why their body language and tone is changing all of a sudden? Who? Kimani Chung and uh, several of the leaders down. Ah, the answer is very simple. These mm. are politicians. We cannot rely on the politicians. But the youth are not buying that. They will have to buy it because they are there. The politicians are there. The only thing is dialogue. That I'm telling you, the dialogue will have to take precedence here. They'll mm. have to talk. And when that dialogue is going to be taken, it is on trust. Mm. It's not political it's negotiable. cheating, it negotiable. it's not lying. Yeah. Tomorrow uh -huh. you are saying these are rich uh, people, these are rich, uh, they are sons of the rich people, they are eating what? Yeah. We are supposed to bring up so they can eat good food. Yeah. Should, should we want our children to eat uh, gideri? Of course, I'm not degrading the, the gideri. Should, should we want them? If they yeah. eat any better food than I ate when I was in school, it's mm. better. Remember, yeah. the older generation, when they were admitted to Nairobi University, their life yeah. was so good. You would right. come there in the banquet, choose any food you want to eat, even bring your friends. The economy was good, but our politicians have polluted our economy. That's mm. why the generation is, is suffering. Yes. There's nothing about that. Yeah. Our political leaders, mm -hmm. our church elders, yes. our elders, me included, mm. we have not shown the right direction for the generation. Yes. Uh, generation, this generation. And yeah. that's now we are suffering. Yeah. The only solution now is mm -hmm. to sit down mm -hmm. and retract what we have, where we have gone wrong without yeah. bringing political I I intonations in our affairs uh, in this country. Yeah. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we are going somewhere which I don't want even to imagine. The youth have been steadfast and resolute. They've said they don't want anything to do with this uh, finance bill. Of course, there's been many other bills that have been passed and they are passed. In fact, they didn't even care. But they are so concerned about this one because it has some facets of it that directly touch on the daily basis of the lives of this young generation. Should they 
pass this bell. What will be the conversation thereafter from your understanding and observation? Now, the young generation, the, we, they must also know something, that they must take the views of the elderly people who are very positive politically in this country. In the sense that when, okay, there are about 254 who passed, yes, isn't it? 150 said no, they're about, isn't it? There is a leeway there that they should dialogue and tell them, okay, there's something good which has happened. Of course, these people have said yes. The, 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 the big budget is a big voluminous pages, you understand? Those which are hidden there, which can bring problems to the thinking and uh, putting the emotions of young people up there, they'll be discussed, you, you understand? But as they are saying, they are being <laughs> more controlled. I don't know from where, I don't want to discuss that line. I think they should be allowed. In the balcony of the parliament, if I'm not wrong, there is a space where people are allowed, ordinary citizens are allowed, even the schools, to sit there and listen as their political leaders engage in this fundamental bill. Yeah. You understand? Yes, and that's what's happening this Friday. Yeah, it's happening this Friday. Yes. That dialogue should include these people inside there. Mm. They'll be given directions. They know the adequates of the, the discipline in the, the parliament. Mm. Listen. You understand? So mm. that they hear. And I'm telling you, the, the, <laughs> the generation, the, those guys who are here, yes. along with others here, mm. they have really crammed. They know what is in that bill. More oh, than yes. our political leaders who are there. Yeah. More than our political representatives there. I'm yeah. telling you, they are serious. So yeah. they should not be taken for granted. Yeah. So they must be included mm -hmm. in whatever. Now, mm -hmm. for them to come again and say, mm -hmm. this bill should not go through. Yes. Let me tell you what's happening. Like in America. Right. If the bill does not go through, you know the result is shut down of the government. Yes, shut absolutely. down of the government. You know yes. what that means? Mm -hmm. means that is what they are saying. Failing state. We are not a failing state. Mm. Still institutions are running. We yeah. have our people out there in mm. Somalia, everywhere defending our country against yeah. Shabab, Al-Shabaab. It's mm. not a failed state. Mm. There I can correct them. Mm. But if we go along the route of our politicians, mm. then we can fail this state like Somalia and other, 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 other states. But why can't we do away with the bill and have peace? I'm telling you, the bill, if we do away with the bill, mm -hmm. totally, yes. we shall have what we call shutdown. Who will pay these public servants? If we can renegotiate and have another, let's say, you know, some clauses amended, yes. Yes, of course the president has to achieve his ambitions right in that bill. Why can't we compromise and let's have a conversation so that it's 50-50? Yeah, this yeah, is what yeah. the president wants. That is where... And this is the voice young people want. That is where the center of dialogue will come in. Mm -hmm. They can even come with an option and say, if this bill we are seeing, see, see us, Generation Z, we are saying is draconic, then let's go by the, the other bill. Yeah. The other bill. The, the last bill. For yeah. a while. Uh -huh. So that we yes. see. Now, this is a conversation with the leaders who are leading us. That is the, that is the, the executive. You yeah. That is the conversation that will take on. Mm. And before that, I'm telling you, we are, we are pleading with the government, the executive, to incorporate it with the honesty. If you lie to these children, they'll find out. Yes. They are well educated. They have nothing to lose. They know what is happening. They have endured the pains of lack of jobs. They have yeah. suffered reading. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you cannot cheat this generation. It's um, not like the other generation yeah. who, which were given handouts to beat people, to steal in the streets. This mm -hmm. is a different generation. Major, as provided for in Article 10 of the Kenyan Constitution, still you've partially touched on that public participation. When they were doing the public participation for this bill, uh, I was in an ex-podcast where some of the young people were saying, why did they not use the voices of the ordinary Monainchi? Why did they use targeted state agencies and maybe also government lobby groups instead of like, let's have a Mamba Boga from Oshago come and give insight because you're mandated and pro you pro provided for us enshrined in that article to give your insight on proper governance, information, facts. Why did they not revisit the voices of these outraged youth during that time, during the initial stages? That's, that is why the Generation Z 
want all this to, to be restricted and they are involved in their own processing. Of Remember when these two gentlemen were talking here, yeah, they yes. were saying that they are the future leaders. Absolutely. The life in front is for them. We yes. are passing out as a generation through death and through anything, but they are coming in to take mm -hmm. over. And let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing before I forget. So we said I'm 72 years, I yes. forget. You are an octogenarian. <laughs> Let me try yeah. to be a fortune teller. Okay. And see things ahead. Mm -hmm. The way Mo used to tell us, I'm a giraffe, I can see very far. Let me say things. Mm -hmm. In 2027, general yes. election, mm -hmm. I can tell you, more, th more than 40%, Yes. if things go the way they are going, mm -hmm. more than 40% of our representatives political rep representatives in the parliament, in the senate, in our counties, the governors, the MCAs, this is generation, right. whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Because of what? The manifesto of the Kenya Kwanzaa, which came out during the campaign, for four years, it started four years, when mm -hmm. our president was campaigning there, going to the village, telling people what the Kenya Kwanzaa will do. Mm -hmm. They have waited. Mm -hmm. They have not seen much. Yes. They have waited. Although mm -hmm. I also tell them to wait. Because let us not so rush many things. Let us go. Let us not rush things. Uh, Samuel Ruto needs time also. Yes. But he needs to be reminded. By yeah. who? By his own people. These yes. are his own people. Mm -hmm. In fact, if I were him, I should invite them to the state house. And yes. talk to them. Mm -hmm. And tell them where we are going. And yes. loosen the tags. Loosen, yeah. the, loosen the tongues. The reason why yeah. also the anger comes from the globe trotting. I'm using the word globe trotting for lack of a better word. They're like, you've just been in the USA recently. You are promised some good things. Yes, they are good, but we don't want that. I, uh, he's been to like around five trips. So a lot of people are saying, why can't you be just be a president who sits down and have a conversation with us instead of jumping from jet to jet, flight to flight? That was actually the outrage. And before you actually answer that, so what's happening tomorrow? Uh, uh, tomorrow is about... Uh, uh, young people storming to town to protest. And then uh, today, they're going to uh, ensure that they make a courtesy call on all members of parliament who voted yes for that bill last week. And then on Tuesday, 25 June, uh, is uh, to occupy parliament and a total shutdown of Kenya, a national strike, that's what they're calling it. On Wednesday of 26th of June, Justice for Rex was murdered by the police and they're going to call on IPOA and the IG of police demanding justice. They're going to knock and visit their houses. And then lastly, Thursday, this week, 27th of June, they're going to block all main roads leading to Nairobi. So there'll be no coming in of this city, right? And the hashtag is Occupy State House to witness President Ruto sign our lives into slavery. This is on the topic, seven days of rage. As we finish, because we are brought to, to exit to allow the next segment to come through, what is your uh, sentiments on this? Is it going to be successful? Should they go ahead with it or should they turn it down? No, what, what should happen here, yes. and I said, the, the solution for these things is dialogue. Dialogue with who? Dialogue with the executive. Because these, politi these uh, politicians, the lower ranks here, the, the, the MPs and what have you, they have their different teachers. Let me tell you one thing, lastly. In this country, what I've seen for the last 52 years is the disregard of the rule of law. The rule of law is just left for the peasants, the normal monainchi. Mm -hmm. We have a class of people here in this country who are very wealthy. They have got their wealth through good means, but most of them is through dubious means, stealing of the, human res of the people's resources. And then they don't have the mandate to do what? Politics. They have bought the politicians. They yes. have bought the, the citizens. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Now that is where the problem is. You ca and and that, that fear which has been instilled by our, our security forces with no disregard of the rule of law. Let us go back to the rule of law. Everybody. Let me give you an example, and I'm very sorry to give you the last example, of the governor. Uh, let me mention his name, Obado. What happened to his things which were said to have been stolen from the county where he was a governor? He was given a lot of money. For what? You get a thief like this. 
He has stolen your money. You'll say, let us share. Under what rule? Under what rule? It is those small th those things which are not small that this. In fact, let me give a call. All our governors, they should wamulikwe, wamulikwe kabisa. Exactly. Because they are killing the spirit of devolution. Yeah. You remember Governor Sakaja? Uh, just a couple of months ago, he was he was actually called upon to appear before Senate to give account of what's happening to Nairobi during the floods. Never showed up. Never cared. And when he showed up in an interview, he said he. And he what, generation is he? what generation yes. is he? He's a millennial. He's a millennial because he's in his mid -30s. And let me say yeah. this frankly. Yeah. You said I was looking for sponsors for me to, to finish my PhD. Okay, by the way, please uh, tell them how they can support you. As I well. have gone. <laughs> I'm not saying Zakaja is a bad fellow. Uh -huh. the, 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 the the generation of Zakaja and the other young people in Amurgo men, you'll see them featuring. I'm telling you. Because they will lead the other, this, this, you can't go all of you, uh, Genesis Z in the parliament and do this without knowing there are elders who will give you. Yeah. Those are the elders, Kina Junet, Kina Murkomen, Kina Zakaja. In 2027, some of them will not be in the counties, they'll go in the executive there, hopefully. Mm. But when they go there, let them have the minds of the general, gener generation Z. You understand? Mm. Mm. Let me put it in public today. Yes. Because this is what they are feeling. And this is my feelings. As old as I am, 72 years, I go to my governor in Nairobi, and I'm saying this without fear of anything. If I, I, I did not fear the, the Shabab in Somali, why should I fear anybody here? I should fear God and my country. I should not fear is to respect my government. You understand? It's not to fear. That fear should go. I went to that office several times. Yeah. I was denied to see my governor. Now, it what, is not Zakaja. What was the response? The people who are around there. Mm -hmm. And the same people who are around our president. You should advise him accordingly. The yes. president has a got a lot of many things here in his head. Mm -hmm. From foreign issues, from inside. He should be advised. Those yeah. people who are advising the president there, I think, I'm not very sure they are misadvising him. Long yeah. before the you know, Gen Z's bring demonstration. You should have told. We have yeah. our intelligent personnel who are giving him briefing in the morning and the evening that this is coming. Yeah. This is coming. That's dysfunction. Call them, let's talk. That's I went dysfunction. To, to, to ask uh -huh. for a, not a favor mm. and help mm. to finish my PhD in yes. law enforcement. Several times, yeah. the officers there, mm. the officers there could not let me, a person who has served this country for 32 years, mm. I saw many things in this country. Yes. I suppressed the immunity, mutiny of 1982. Mm. I would have died. My yes. fellow colleagues died. Mm -hmm. You understand? What is your want to them as we exit? Because we are out of there, time. I mm -hmm. want them. Wherever the Gen, Gen Cs want, it's only a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. The political climate, the environment to be set properly through the laws so that they can, they can do what they, they can do their things. Yeah. They, they don't want favors. They don't want mm -hmm. to be helped by anybody. Yes. They are not crippled. Mm. You understand? Yeah. But they want political favor, mm. political temperatures to go down, corruption, accountability. Mm. Mm. Yeah? When you are given yeah. a public, public, public office, it yeah. is not your office. Mm. Don't practice nepotism. Pub yeah. In fact, the, 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 the CS for public servants need to reconfigure and reorganize the public office so that when you are in the public office, you will be able to Mm. Policy way to wajue, their motto is to serve everybody. Yes. Utu mishi kwa wote. Yes. Apanda kupiga piga watu. Yes, Menzo, we have to go, we have to go. If you had yeah, a chance to, to speak go. to the president, what would be your word? I just want, like, just a sentence. Yeah, sentence and then is that. For, for one who, person who is watching and they want to support you the further in education. The president is our father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The president is our president. We don't have any other president. Mm. We shall tell him when we are not happy. But the president should be in control. Na asikiza hawa vijana. Akisha wa sikiza, and I'm sure the president ako na, ako na experience ya siyasa. Anaweza kudiffuse this tension mm -hmm. so that tukaina amani. We yes. want peace in this country. Yes. Peace is of paramount. Yeah. We need it like yeah. yesterday. We need yeah. peace. So, so do you want to be supported? Do you want to give out your number so that people Yes, can I can give out the sure. number. Mm -hmm. I am 72 years old. Mm -hmm. People might think that... Uh, it is, uh, it is nonsense for an old man to get a PhD. 
but you can see the value of education. The value of education has brought a difference between those people who, 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 who did uh, problems in yes. this country <laughs> rather than these people. So I'll give out your number so that we go. 07 200 And yes. I'm asking this request mm -hmm. from the president himself. He's a doctor, isn't it? Yes. I want to be a doctor, Mr. Ruto. I want okay. to be a doctor. Help okay. me personally. Okay. I've tried all the public so, so, offices. I'm 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 Please, Thank Ruto, you. Thank when you, you so think much. about Genesis, yes. think of me. I'm an elder. I'll yes. give them I'm a, a word of... Lazima Thank you so much. Mze. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Retired Major Peter Sami Moide. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much. A very powerful, very powerful ins insight. Thank you so much. That's why we take a very short break and then we come back with the last conversation. It's about to be fire right here. Stick with us. <laughs>